Hey, what's going on, guys? Coming again the year. Uh, so now I'm working with Fan Hao Zhen, uh, the author and maintainer, the creator and maintainer of this uh, absolutely fantastic CNC in English.com site, introducing the uh, game of CNC, traditional Chinese chess game, to to the Western people. And uh, it's been a while uh, since we started our cooperation, but uh, we couldn't really find the proper way of how to embed my CNC apps into his website. But now, finally, it seems like uh, we, we found a proper way. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we, we, we didn't yet test this uh, because, yeah, probably like time zone issues and things like that. Uh, I've, I've already sent him this uh, idea and I just really want to share this uh, idea with you guys so how you in particular can be easily embedding my CNC apps into your websites potentially if you want that so I have uh, three applications at the moment there might be much more so uh, all the all, all of them could be customized so uh, this one is to play CNC versus uh, bots okay now this one is to view the games by Grandmasters. Uh, I have a bundled collection of 100 and 1,145 games by, played by Chinese Grandmaster Liu Dahua. And also a puzzle solver with uh, really lots of puzzles starting from Made in 1, then go into Made in 2, Made in 3. So really lots of puzzles up, up with Made in uh, unknown number of moves. So it's like more than 3,000 of uh, puzzles here available and all this stuff can be embedded so um, that's done very simply so let's drop back here so I've provided the snippets to embed uh, CNC apps into your website and now I will show you the example of how easily this uh, can be done on the example on how Jen's site this one CNC in English.com so uh, I just grab the page so I say save as and store this to my desktop so let's assume that uh, you're working with a file that is hosted on your server. So this is the file and I just opened this with a text editor. And well, let's say, uh, so where do we put? Uh, yeah, let's also open this in the browser. So this is, this is the local copy of the site. So let's say after welcome, I want to embed one of my apps. So I will now, sorry guys, uh, I will now demonstrate you that. So uh let's say just search for this welcome okay so i think right over here would be the right place so let's take a snippet well let's say this one to play cnc so it's based on the iframe a little bit uh, of the past century technology but still working uh amazingly stable and nice and also really easy to maintain so copy and then I just uh, paste this in and save. And if I update the page, uh, this now should be embedded into. Should be embedded. Uh, okay, so it's a little bit strange why this welcome. Oh, I just put it above, not below. Sorry, it's just pasted into a slight little bit wrong place. Uh, so. Oh, here it is. So, sorry, uh, I, uh, uh, I meant to paste it right over in here. So let's see it again. Okay. And now it loads and we have uh, an app to play chess within a third party site. So this is quite pretty nice, I believe, right? And now we can play the game of CNC. All the stuff is available, like play versus uh, this sort of a uh, bot players and still can choose the romanized pieces go into edit mode dark theme whatever so whatever is available on the original app here it's literally like an, like an iframe just a link uh, embedded into a different in, into a third party site so now the only matter to make this kind of alive is just to deploy the target HTML to the target server and that's it very simple so uh, absolutely the same is possible for other apps so let me quickly demonstrate you as well so here we had this to play uh, now we can also use well let's say uh, let's say we use the game viewer copy and 
paste here, save, and going to update the stuff. So now we can watch the games by the grandmasters. So you see, like now I'm watching the games. So I can pick up one of many games available. It's quite pretty nice already. So yeah, this is how it works basically. And the same for a puzzle solver. It's all very, very, very similar. So same for a puzzle solver. So if I just grab this and paste in, save and uh, update okay and now we have this puzzle solver again like so we can simply solve we checkmate then it gets updated to the next position after five second passes and that's it so in this in this similar manner we can use whatever uh whatever apps so it's uh, easy it's really easy to derive from the existing apps to create some uh, apps for specific needs and they can be easily embedded to your website as well so this is all i wanted to show you guys uh the project is really starting getting interesting and the next uh, some, some some of the next plans for me is to uh turn apart a so-called cbr file which is uh stands for uh cc bridge format cc bridge is a very famous in china a very famous app like arena gui for international western chess but for cnc so that may be really interesting to uh trying to deal with that format as well so that's kind of the next steps to automate the process of how uh fun uh, how dan uh, makes his books arranging his materials into books so that process uh, i'm uh, i'm really hope i really hope to automate the process as well so in that case the western people would be able to deal with uh, this CNC related information in a very handy way and really lots of interesting information about the camp. So this is it from my side guys. Uh, anyway, uh, feel free to embed my apps into your own website. This is absolutely free. So this is it from my side and <clears throat> yeah, thanks for watching. Until the next time and take care.